all right in the previous video we learned about the permissions in this video let's talk about the groups okay so the groups are a collection of permissions okay so if you want to create some groups or currently we only have the editor role right now if you want to create any uh, manager role so the manager will uh, usually have the access to create the users as well okay so he can even create the users and he can uh, add the blocks he can add the categories and all that okay so now what we'll do is we'll create the group okay we'll create a group uh, let's name it as manager okay so uh, the manager will usually have um, more permission than the editors have okay so editor will only have blocks and categories permissions so for the manager we'll give one more permission that he can add the user he can change the user he can delete the user and the manager can uh, weave the user okay so let's uh, give that permission to the manager group okay so now he can also add the blocks he can uh, uh, change the block delete the block view the block add category change category delete category and view category let's give these permission to th this manager as well okay so now we have given uh, this many permission to the manager group okay now let's save this so now we can assign the groups to uh, users okay let's say uh, this is the user let's create one user and let's say manager one okay so okay so let's give some um manager one and manager at gmail.com and the staff status will be true now what we want to do we don't want to give the permissions explicitly we can simply assign this manager group to this particular user okay so what will happen uh, any permission that this manager group has will be applied to this manager uh, user okay so here you don't want to give any uh, special permissions all the permission that needed to this manager will be available inside this manager group okay so now save okay so now what you can do is you can simply log in and log in to manager one and log in and here you can see he can actually add the users okay he can add the uh, you know users and change the users and all that and along with the users permission he will also have the blocks and categories permissions okay so that's how the groups work now for the if you want to create any other groups let's uh, create one um let me log in so for the editors we have explicitly given the permission right now let's say we want to hire 10 editors then it is not a good idea to uh, specifically give the permission to each and every one of them so that's why we will create groups and uh, let's say editor group okay editor group so whoever is assigned to this editor group will have these uh, permissions okay these permissions let's give and save now what we can do so whenever we add any kind of uh, editors simply uh, assign this uh, group to him okay so you can delete it from here so he is actually a editor so editor will have the permission to manage blocks and categories all right so that's how the permissions and groups work okay thank you